Welcome back. I need to decant my flow trawl. So I'm thinking I should do it with you because I don't know if you know that you really need to do that. I don't know how, how far you've gone with your experience. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen me have gobbly goops quite a bit because I get lazy sometimes. I don't want to be lazy. I want my paintings to come out beautiful and I don't want a lot of gobbly goops. I don't mind textured paintings and sometimes that's fine. Um, it depends on what you're going for, but with flow art, I'm really trying to master the epoxyable surface, which means you don't want gobbly goops. So <laughs> you take your flow trawl that you bought over at the Home Depot or at the Lowe's or wherever, wherever. Uh, this is American flow trawl. I'm going to start experimenting with a UK flow trawl, and maybe one day I'll even get some Australian flow trawl. So I have this is I use this only for this. Um, I have had a bowl. I usually put it like in a coffee container, but I couldn't find one that didn't have dust in it, and I didn't want to go back upstairs. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Now sometimes your flow trawl won't have very much gobbly goop at all. That's fine, but you still want to make sure that um, you're trying anyway. It's not hard to do. Not hard to do at all. So yeah, you just pour it in the, the strainer. Don't have to rush it. It'll be okay. Cause I need to mix some paint. <laughs> um, I definitely ran out of paint. And I did, you know, I did a piece just recently, um, like just before. It's really cool looking and very minimal colors. There's like three obvious colors in it. So, um, it's uh, pretty cool. I want to paint some more, and so I need to do some mixing. So I knew I had to get the flow trawl going. I highly suggest you do this with your glue all as well. If you use glue, I do that sometimes. I haven't done it in a minute. But, um... Glue all is a pretty cool medium. It, that's more for... If you're not really concerned about cells, it's also a little bit more affordable than Floetrol. But this is still not so bad. Um, when I first started painting, uh, Floetrol was about $12.99 for this big jug. What is that? It's a gallon. Now it's up to $14.99. So in comparison to other things that have gone up lately, <laughs> this is okay. It's another two bucks. I want to decant the whole thing, so I'm going to do it because I want to put it all right back in here. And usually the gobbly goops are at the bottom because this stuff settles. So you might have just bought it like this one actually, I mean usually when I buy them they're dusty. It, you know, they've been at the stores forever. This is perfect. So um, that doesn't mean that you, you still don't want to, you still want to try. And this, I don't think I even caught any, but we'll see in a minute. Yeah, I don't even think I caught any, which is good. But I wouldn't have known if I didn't go ahead and try. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come here. Come on. I want all that flow draw back. Come on. All right, so I'm just gonna put this here and let it finish draining out and that's fine. 
Next step is a funnel. And some patience. Okay, so I bought that at the dollar store in the automotive section. You could get fancy and buy a really fancy schmancy. It's totally up to you how you want to do. You could even make one with cardboard, but it's so difficult. So I'm going to go with this. I generally only use Floetrol through there, so I don't worry too much about it. And then let me make sure I'm level. I don't want to pour that Floetrol and have the whole thing fold down on me. And this is a really big container. Okay. I need something else. I'm going to use a cup. It's clean. Nothing on it. If you say, for instance, take a break from painting, like last summer, I, don't, I think I did one or two paintings the whole summer, and you have leftover flow chalk, you need to decant it. It's all about how long it sits around, you know what I mean? And since you can't be sure if it's brand new fresh right from the factory, when you buy it, you need to go ahead and decant everything. I'm thinking you're getting the drift of this, so I'm going to keep working on this. I'm not going to make you stay here for the whole thing, but I just keep going and going and going until it's all done. So I want to thank you for hanging out with me, and uh, yeah, I'm going to, I guess, create a playlist for, you know, specific little things like that so you can find it easier, and I thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this, you got value from it, and it's helped you... Um, Go ahead and say so in the comments. If not, it's totally cool. Hit that like button. It helps the algorithms find me. And I appreciate you. See you on the other side. Bye.